and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my Fit Spa recipe. to show you my foot spa recipe but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one as I just mentioned today I want to show you my foot spa recipe now my feet aren't the best looking feet in the world world so I won't share them with you today that's how embarrassed I am of them but this summer I thought I'd try and resolve that issue so I've been reading about the health benefits of Epsom salt so I decided to try Epsom salt foot spas now Epsom salt has been used for hundreds of years as a healing agent but it's also been used to reduce inflammation in the body as well. So it can help with things like tired, aching muscles. It can also help with weight loss. Um, it can help with things like gout as well. Um, I've been finding that the dryness on, since I've been using a foot spa, that the dryness on the bottom of my skin is a lot better. So I wanted to show you what I've been doing. So here is my foot spa recipe. The first thing I do is to get a washing up bowl and fill it with hot water. You don't have to use a washing up bowl. It could be a large bowl that you can fit your feet in. Then I add about two scoops of Epsom salt. We actually buy this large bucket on Amazon because we use it a lot in this house. I will link this product in the description box below. Next, I add sodium bicarbonate or baking powder. Believe it or not, this actually helps to keep the skin soft. Then I add my essential oils. So I like to add a couple of drops of tea tree oil, lemongrass, lavender, sweet orange and eucalyptus. I leave out the peppermint from this pack as I'm not a fan. Essential oils are also great in a foot spa. They too contain anti-inflammatory properties and can help to reduce inflammation. I brought this packet, Big Six, on Amazon and again I will link it in the description box below for you. Finally, to the foot spa I also add fresh lavender and rosemary from the garden. Putting fresh rosemary and lavender into hot water also helps the essential oils to come out from that plant. Again, these oils are great for inflammation, which helps with muscle function and the reduction of inflammation. Next, I prepare the area where I'm going to sit. So I make myself a cup of tea and I make sure I have everything I need to help me through the next 30 minutes or so. I like to soak my feet while I work. But you could also just sit and meditate too if you wanted to. So once I have my tea and everything I need is at the table, I grab a towel or a tea towel and lay it on the floor. This is just in case I spill the hot water in the bowl. Then I have another towel with me to dry my feet after I've soaked them. When all of this is done, I sit down, remove my socks and start to soak my feet. The Epsom salt in this foot spa is great for removing toxins from your body known to cause inflammation and body pain. This can also be beneficial for foot health as well. People who use Epsom salt claim that in addition to reducing pain and promoting healing, it can also help to reduce inflammation from illnesses such as gout, it can eliminate foot odour and it can also help to treat infections as well. When added to hot water, the magnesium sulfate in Epsom salt is dissolved and then it can be easily absorbed through the skin. As I said, Epsom salt removes harmful toxins from your body, but when it removes the toxins, it makes way for new magnesium to enter your body into your bloodstream. The presence of this compound boosts the amount of magnesium in your body and that's Great, because it's then available for energy production, muscle function, and of course, the reduction of inflammation. 
It has also helped me with the dry skin on my feet and my toenails, I have to say, are looking a lot healthier now too. Plus, it's a lovely way to relax and unwind at the end of a day without having to have a full bath. And you can still get on with what you need to as well. Finally, I removed my feet from the foot spa, dry them with the towel that I'd already put on the table earlier, and then I moisturise. And this bit is important. Although Epsom salt is great for your body, it can also dry out your skin too, especially if it's already dry. So I always moisturise immediately after drying my feet. Then I put a pair of socks on, and so I don't get it all over the carpet. Then I pour the water down the sink and I leave the bowl to dry. I bin the lavender and the rosemary and that's my homemade foot spa done. That was my foot spa recipe and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Have you got dry feet? And what have you been doing to try and resolve your issues? I'd love to know and please, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.